Question 13. Here are six quadrilaterals with their mathematical names. Square, parallelogram, rhombus, oblong. Better word for oblong is rectangle, kite, and trapezium. Laura chooses one of the quadrilaterals. She says it has two acute angles and all four sides are the same length. Now, as soon as you see that all four sides are the same length, you should straight away be focusing on the square and the rhombus. Remember, a rhombus is just like a wonky square. All four sides are the same length, which we can say about both a rhombus and a square. However, the angles are different. In a square, all the angles are right angles. Now, if they're all right angles, they're all 90 degrees, and acute means less than 90. So, a square does not have any angles less than 90, because they all are 90. The question is, does a rhombus? Well, a rhombus has got two acute angles in the two corners there. Those two angles are both less than 90. So, the answer that we're looking for, for part one of this question, is rhombus. Get a different call for part two. Stefan chooses one of the quadrilaterals and he says it's got more than one obtuse angle and it has no parallel sides. Which quadrilateral did he choose? Now the easy one here is the no parallel sides because actually of the six main quadrilateral types they've all got parallel sides except for one and that's the kite. So the answer has to be kite. We will examine this in more detail in a moment. It's the only one, only one with no parallel sides is the kite. Now let's just double check what we're saying here. Well, a square, to make some room on my quadrilaterals here, a square has got parallel sides. Left and right are both parallel. Top and bottom are a different pair of parallel sides. So the square does. The parallelogram. Left and right are both parallel. Top and bottom are both parallel. So that does. Same with the rhombus. Left and right parallel. Top and bottom are a different pair of parallel sides. Same with a rectangle. Left and right are, top and bottom are. Trapezium. Now this is the one where it's only got one pair of parallel lines. And in this case, it's the top and bottom. But the kite does not have any pairs of parallel lines. If you check with a pair of rulers to see if when these lines are extended, you can see that those lines actually go towards each other. If they go towards each other, they can't be parallel lines, so the kite doesn't have any parallel lines. Let's go back to the question. So it's got to be the kite just from that clue alone. But does it have more than one obtuse angle? Yes, it does. That angle is obtuse, bigger than 90, that's bigger than 90, and that's bigger than 90. So actually, it's got three obtuse angles. So the final answer is on the first part, Laura chose rhombus, and on the second part, she must have chosen a kite.